Being a new mom, it's I think just as hard as probably a regular new mom, just a little bit more emotionally taxing, <laughs> just a little other things that you have to like deal with, but I think that I'm really thankful for our story. Ready? Set? Okay. <gasps> Hi, my name is Delicia. This is Avea. And she was born at 29 weeks and one day, and she'll be two next month. So at 28 and a half weeks pregnant, I noticed a bunch of bruising, and it prompted me to go to the doctor um, to get some labs drawn. That very next day, at like 7 a.m., she called me and she said, hey, your platelets are really low. So at that time, they were like 25,000, which they usually range over 140,000 from normal. So that afternoon, I actually went to go see a blood doctor, a hematologist. And at that point, my platelets were a little bit better. I think 35, so we're like, okay, great. My platelets are responding to the steroids, that's awesome. So we were actually um, planning to go visit Delicia's parents in Texas. Delicia realized that something wasn't right with kind of her blood counts and, and whatnot. And I went to see the hematologist like the next morning. There I got new labs and they were worse. And I just remember sitting at the doctor's office and looking at the results and saying in my head, this is not good. But by the time I was driving home, the hematologist called me and was like, you need to be admitted to the hospital. We think this could be what's called HELP syndrome, um, which is like a severe form of preeclampsia. And at that point, I pulled over and I just started crying and was like, I'm going to have this baby like really soon. So, I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I got home and I just like walked out of the door and I was like sobbing. <laughs> so I knew I was going to have this baby like really soon and I was only 29 weeks. I got home. I packed a bag, I packed a bag for baby, like I was gonna take the baby home, which obviously at 29 weeks you can't take the baby home, but I didn't know what else to do. So I went to the hospital and by that time, my doctor came in and at that point was doing an ultrasound and was like, your baby's heart rate is going down, we need to take you to the OR like now. They admitted me to like high risk and um, monitored my platelets really closely. I was on really high dose steroids, um, that was Friday. Saturday morning, my doctor walked in, it was like 8 a.m. And it was like, your platelets are getting worse. We're gonna need to take you to like emergency surgery, like now, like call your family in within an hour, you're gonna go. So I called my family in and they um, gave me platelets. I thought I still had three months to uh, kind of get ready for it. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a father to, little girl now. She was delivered. I got to hold her for a few seconds until they took her um, to the NICU. I, I still didn't know how Delicia was. One more. One more. Yay! And then I woke up in the recovery area. Um, at that point I'd already received like, I don't know how many, but a lot of transfusions for platelets because by the time I went to the OR they were um, 16,000. So anything less than 20 can like spontaneously bleed. After the birth and um, receiving platelets and knowing that significantly changed the outcome to positive um, and really saved my life, I felt compelled to donate platelets myself. But I think it's really powerful that you have a connection to it. You can't say thank you enough. So I'm hoping that I can continue to do that and have that impact on someone just as much as they did on me, even though it's a stranger and I have no idea. <laughs> I feel grateful and I hope that I can do that for someone else.